Hi there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, big frog in my throat. So, anyway, um, hi. This is my very first live video, and I am scared you know what less because my life coach slash shaman, Ricky Goodall, made me promise in our session this morning to go online and post a five-minute live video to kind of catch you up what's going on in my world. So, um, I typically wear eyeglasses, but because the camera on my computer is up at the top, uh, my bifocals don't cooperate with that at all. So I have taken my eyeglasses off so I can look at the little green dot without uh, and still be able to see. Okay, so let's get started with this. First of all, I'm going to use the same disclaimer that Ricky uses all the time, and that is you should not believe anything that I tell you. These this session, this video is about my life and my experience and what has happened to me and through me in the five years since I wrote my first book. Um, but this is my experience. This is my truth. This is my life. And you might find it interesting. You might find something inspiring or you might find it completely absurd and not be interested. But either way, don't take anything that I say as gospel truth or as how you should do something because we all have different paths. So anyway, what I am going to say is that since I wrote my first book, so many things have changed in my life. I hardly know where to begin. One of the biggest things that I that I need to share with you because I have been active in the LGBTQ community ever since I very first came out as a Lexus way back in 1997. So that was 25 years ago. And then of course I wrote my book five years ago that pretty much caught you all up with everything um, up to point of publication in January of 2017. Since then, a lot of things have changed in my life, and most of it happened during the pandemic. The pandemic, of course, being the lockdown where you couldn't go anywhere, I took it upon myself to use that time to heal. And so I did some very deep healing work um, that I will go into later, not going to go into details about that, other than to say it did include plant medicine. And I have found plant medicine to be absolutely transformative for my healing. But as I said, I'll go more into that later on. So why I'm on here today is I want you to know that I'm writing another book. I have been working on it now for just under a year since the time that I started working with Ricky. And the working title of the book is My Heart Was Hardened. And the title of the book talks about the fact that I have been searching for God my entire life. I never was happy in the traditional Christian church. It never resonated for me. I was always in trouble when I was a kid for asking the wrong story, or excuse me, the wrong questions. And so the Christian church, the organized church just doesn't work for me. So my book is primarily about my journey to find God and how I found him not only, I should say him slash her, we'll go into more details about that later, but I found my source energy without the church. And in fact, I should actually say it would be in spite of the church. So the book is primarily going to be about teaching you or not teaching, it's not a how-to book, but rather, how it worked for me. And you might be able to take some of the lessons that I learned and they will possibly help you move forward in your personal journey, in your personal path. So that is the first announcement is the fact that I'm writing another book. 
and it will be called something like my heart was hardened or something to that effect. The next big news is I am coming out now as non-binary. And that will come as a shock to a lot of you because when I transitioned way back in 1997, I was very, very much about passing, about appearing for everybody, for everybody that met me to be a cisgender woman, which was sort of like just moving from one closet into another closet that I am trans, I am happily and proudly out as trans, but I am not trans to everybody that knows me. And um, I am in the process of fixing that because I think it's important for those of us who are out to be out and visible. So the other thing that went along with that is um, if you've read my book, you know that I started on hormones way back in 1998 after my cancer experience. And so I was on hormones for 10-ish years, but as I got older, my doctors recommended that I go off of estrogen because most postmenopausal women do not remain on estrogen their entire life. And so my doctor recommended I go off estrogen. When I went off of estrogen, it changed my worldview, my outlook, which of course um, I wrote in the book about how much it changed my worldview. But once the estrogen was gone, then my worldview changed back to less Feminine is not really a good word, but it's the only word that I can make fit right now. So since I haven't been on any sort of hormones for several years now, my way of being, my way of presenting in the world is no longer strongly feminine, and it certainly isn't strongly masculine, but I am very much in the middle of that space. I am now non-binary. I don't feel particularly feminine, but I also don't feel masculine. And so I think probably there are millions and millions of cisgender postmenopausal women who would say that they probably feel a little bit mm, a little bit non-binary themselves, other than for most cisgender hetero people, those words are not necessarily in their vocabulary. So anyway, I decided I'm going to come out today as non-binary, still prefer she, her pronouns. I still don't like male pronouns, so I don't know if that will evolve. It might. Um, but anyway, so non-binary. The other thing that goes along with being non-binary is I'm allowing my voice to go back more natural. So I'm going to give a very small demonstration of this. But as you can tell, as soon as it drops down into my chest, it changes rather dramatically. And it would be heard on the phone or by someone across the room who didn't see me as probably a masculine voice. But even though the pitch is lower, I can still use the inflection and the intonation that would be heard by most people as feminine, but it has a much deeper tone. And so this is the voice you'll be able to hear or that you will hear as I continue to get more comfortable in this non-binary space. So there we are. I have come out today as non-binary. I have demonstrated my natural voice. I will probably go back to a little higher pitch natural voice whenever I'm in a social setting because I don't feel like explaining to everybody that I meet 100% of the time throughout my day, my whole history. So I was told as I was in meditation to use whatever voice happens. When I speak to someone, if the high feminine voice comes out, that's just fine. If the lower masculine voice comes out, that's okay too. So, Ricky made me promise to do a five-minute video. I have now gone 
10 minutes. And so I am going to say goodbye for today. Have a blessed day. I love you all. Goodbye.